shaking my head. And, um, you know, four years later, we're back and have an opportunity to come here and win it and, and uh, have a number eight. Um, Kenny Pickett in the house is, uh, is something special. But uh, we got 120 football players in that, that locker room that did it all together. Um, kids made a lot of plays today. And, uh, you know, it's a tribute to the hard work they put in. Um, we had a great week of practice and, and uh, came out today and, and uh, played really well. So I couldn't be prouder of the football team. So I'll open it up with questions there. To our left, front row. Hey, Coach. Um, I think it was their final 13 possessions. They didn't score. Um, what Can you tell us what you did defensively to stem the tide after they scored three touchdowns to open the game? You know, just little tweaks and, and adjustments. Uh, we didn't play any, you know, different defense than we did in the first three drives that were touchdowns, I believe. But uh, that's just kind of how we rolled. If you talk to some of the local guys, it's kind of how we rolled all year is, is make our adjustments, you know, get comfortable in the game and see what they're doing. And as soon as we know what they're doing, then we get a beat on, you know, on exactly what they're doing. And again, our defense line starts up front with our, our defensive line making plays. And our coaches did an outstanding job, you know, on offense and defense. You know, Mark Whipple, you know, offensively with Randy Bates and Andre Powell, special teams coordinator, just did a great job coaching and, and, and adjusting to what they're doing. Kenny, Dan Marino had the fake spike. Some are saying that you had the fake slide. Can you walk us through that touchdown? Was that intentional at all? Um, yeah, it was, it was intentional. Um, you know, I just kind of started slowing down and, and pulling up, getting ready to slide. And I just kind of saw their, their body language, just, just they pulled up as well. So, um, you know, I, I really don't know. I've never done that before. <laughs> so I just kind of kept going after I was initially starting to slide. Pat, uh, three years ago, I asked you after the loss to Clemson uh, about the direction of your program. It's only fair that I asked you about the direction of your program tonight. Well, I guess, you know, we're, we're ACC champions. It's something we break down all off season from, you know, from last year, you know, when we ended the season going through winter workouts and um, and going through uh, spring ball, through summer conditioning uh, with Coach Macchiotti, <coughs> who does an outstanding job as well, you know, getting our guys trained and ready to go. Um, I guess it's pretty good right now, Jerry. Um, again, we still got, we still have room for improvement. Uh, we're going to have to replace Kenny Pickett and, um, you know, in the future, but uh, our program's where it needs to be. I think we've done a great job recruiting and, and uh, continuing to, ins in, uh, you know, insulate our football team with great players. And, you know, we got seven guys drafted a year ago, the most in the ACC, and, and we got some more guys still coming. We got four guys going to the Senior Bowl, um, and, um, and we've got some good football players. Uh, for both of you guys, I mean, what was it like having that kind of crowd and that kind of support follow you down from Pittsburgh? Kenny? Yeah, very special. Um, you know, just grateful for the fans for my entire career. You know, just my time, a chance to say thank you to, to them and everyone who supported us. And this is this was the goal that we've been chasing since I walked the doors in 2017. So, uh, you know, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling to go out there and accomplish that. You know, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, it's something that just really hit me. Um, you know, we just, we, at the end, we sang our fight song in the locker room, and then uh, Kenny said, ACC champs on three, and it was kind of like, wow, we've said that so many times. That's been the goal for seven years, and I, how many times have we said ACC champs? Let's break down on ACC champs, and today, you know, when we broke down, it was like, wow, we are ACC champs. So uh, it means a bunch. You know, our fans were unbelievable. They were unbelievable all year. Uh, they showed up in Charlotte, and they're going to show up wherever we go next. Uh, Pat, when you, uh, Wake kept going after your 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 secondary. A lot of one on one shots, deep shots, and especially from the second quarter on, they, they they shut it down. What can you say about their effort, their work throughout the year to put on a performance like this against the team that had the third most points scored in the country? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, start off a little slow, but you know, they continue to to believe in what they were doing, and you know, the, you know, again, once we found out what they were doing, how they were doing it, um, they, they bowed up and. <coughs> We played some great coverage. Our guys made plays on the ball. I think we shook him up a little bit in the backfield. Um, got him a little antsy because he did get hit a few times. And and I think after, you know, I think everybody's got to play until they get hit. And um, Hartman's a heck of a football player. He's a great quarterback, and our defense did a good job shutting him down. Kenny, the uh, curtain call, you know, Pat calls a timeout. You, you get a standing up. What was that moment specifically like? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable special. It's been a long road. It hasn't, you know, been this my entire career. And, um, to battle through the adversities early on and to, to, to end it off, you know, finish it off like this, it's, uh, you know, unbelievable. I don't, have, I don't have too many words for it. Second round. Kenny, you, you know, you said this is why you came back, to, to win this championship. 
What does it mean to do it with the group of guys that has been here with you for so long, this, this senior class? Yeah, I mean, the, the 2016 class, there's a lot of guys still here. And, and I enrolled in early, so I was here a semester after, you know, they got here. And then, you know, the 2017 class that I came in and stand on the stage with Dez, Cal, and Cam, Damari, um, you know, all the guys up front, Gabe, Carter, and Owen, we, I mean, we all came in. This was the goal. And um, like Coach said, I mean, we worked so hard for this. And we break, we broke down on ACC Champs so many times in workouts. And um, that's been the main focus. So to, to say you're going to do something, go out and do it, you know, it's very special. Middle of the room. Can you kind of go along with that question right there? When you decided to come back for one more year, in your wildest dreams, did you ever think you would have the kind of season that you had, and that your team would would have the season they had? Honestly, yes. That's I mean that, that was that was why I came back, and I, I I've you know felt that you know strong about you know myself and what I could do, and, and on top of that, the team and, and the talent that we had coming back. So this was absolutely everything that I had you know envisioned and. Um, you know, just to, to say, like I said, to say you're going to do something, go out and do it, it's, it's a really special thing. Back of the room. Coach, it seemed like a lot of your pressure and success came on defending third down. <coughs> how much of that was an emphasis throughout the weekend and kind of as the game went on, how much did that uh, kind of lead to your success today? Well, I mean, if you put on the third down reel of tape uh, on, on Wake Forest uh, offensively, uh, Hartman and, and that, I think there were six in the country in, in third down offense. Uh, I think we were seventh in the country defensively. So it was it was a big challenge coming in. I mean, you watch third and medium and third and long, and it's like Hartman didn't miss, um, and he didn't miss early either. Uh, but our kids hung in there. We you know uh, we made a lot of plays on defense today. I mean, third down. You know, I don't know what the percentages were, but I would imagine we won money down. That was again certainly one of our uh, keys to victory to winning this football game. We had to get off the field on third down. And, and really, for the last three quarters of the game, um, we had to be probably 75% win uh, on, the, on that down and uh, made some big plays on the ball. We'll stay in the back of the room. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hail Diane Marchek from the Pittsburgh Courier here with Elder Pitt. So excited and happy for you. And I know you're trying to savor the team victory tonight, but I just wanted to ask Kenny about the whole Heisman. Um, your name being among those. I remember Coach Narduzzi, you mentioned it at the Georgia Tech game about his name circulating. So I just want to know how he feels about that. Yeah, it's a, it's a special thing. It hasn't been done here in a, in a long time. So it's, you know, to have your name, you know, be next to that award and, and talks of you going to New York City and uh, that being close to home, it, it's special. It's a, it's a team award, I think, uh, you know, it, I, I've improved, yes, but you look at this team, we've improved so much. I'm so grateful for every single guy in that room and, and, and the hard work that we all put in together. So I think it speaks for everybody. Back of the room. Hey, Coach, you talked about uh, when you guys broke it down in the locker room, you said ACC champs, and you're just kind of digesting that right now. At the end of this journey, you know, seven years to get here, did you think about that? What does it really mean to you? It means everything. I mean, that's what you work for every day is to get to this point. Um, if we'd have, you know, won a couple more, and who knows where we'll end up being next week. But uh, our kids, uh, you know, believe. And, you know, we talk about faith and belief, and, and these guys love each other in that locker room. Um, you know, we, we talk about uh, all the time about doing it together, and and uh, this is the most unselfish football team I've been around. Uh, and I think Kenny would vouch for that. Just nobody cares who gets the credit. You know, nobody's worried about Heisman's. They're just worried about winning the next game. And our, you know, mantra's been all year just be one and zero. And it wasn't about winning this game to be champions today. It was about winning, you know, that one game, getting to number 11. Uh, we want to get to number 12. I think there's been only three other teams in history, in you know, Pittsburgh history, that have won 11 football games. Uh, there's been one to win 12 in the, the unfinished business to get back to 1976 when we won 12, and we expect to do that uh, in another month. Coach, you're the first Coastal Division team to win the ACC championship since 2010. Given how much turnover we're seeing in the Coastal Division right now, how good are you feeling about your ability to sustain success beyond this year? You know, it's, it's always a work in progress. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy to get where we got today. Uh, there's going to be a lot of you know, hard work in the future. I'm just going to try to relax and try to enjoy the moment right now, and we'll worry about that in another month. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got one more game to go. We're not finished yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I think I feel pretty good, you know, regardless of the change um, in, in different, you know, in, in, at different schools in the coastal. Uh, they're going to bring great coaches in and they got great players too. It's, it's hard to get to this point. It's hard to win 11 football games. 
Uh, I think the ACC conference is one of the best in the country, and I see the commissioner up there. Jim Phelps is the absolute best. We got the best commissioner in the country. Uh, I love that guy, and uh, in the ACC is 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 going big, and uh, it's only going to get better under his leadership. Second round. Um, this could go for either of you. I know you guys usually give a 24-hour rule to enjoy the game, but with no game looming necessarily yet, how long are you guys going to take to enjoy this one? Kenny? Yeah, I think this one, you know, we'll uh, get a few more hours for this one. Uh, it's, a, it's a special special game to, to, to walk off the field a champion and accomplish everything you, you've worked for, so we're going to definitely enjoy it. we got at least a week. I think next Saturday we'll have a little bowl practice. It'll be a bowl practice for the young guys. Like, hey, just kind of wear a T-shirt and I come out in his hat right here, uh, looking pretty, and we'll, we'll develop some of our guys to start working towards the future early, and get our guys fresh, get them healthy, and, and get ready for one more. Kenny, I guess on that bowl practice and everything, um, is tonight your last game at Pitt, or are you planning a bowl game? I plan on playing. we take two more questions, front row. Uh, Kenny. All season long, when you were breaking this guy's record, breaking that guy's record, you always told us, like, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about hockey lays. I'm worried about ACC championship. You're here. What's that like for you now? Like, can you, are you even starting to allow yourself to be like, wow, I really just did that. We really just did that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going home this, this week, and I'll be able to you know, be with my family and kind of just take a deep breath and, and look back on I've been so focused on, you know, what we've been doing and really haven't gotten a chance to – to sit back and, and take it all in. You know, I told myself after we hoisted the trophy, I'd be able to do that with my family and uh, you know, just really enjoy it. And, and uh, that means the world to me to be able to do that. I'll take two more and I know who you are. Second round. Pat, uh, Eric Hallett plays a difficult position in your defense, gets picked on a good bit. What's it mean to see him respond to have the kind of game he did tonight? You know, we really missed Demar Hamlet a year ago, who's playing with the Bills, and uh, I think Eric Howe continued to get better every single game. And again, you've mentioned it; uh, he's got one of the toughest positions on the team, playing that free safety position. And you know, losing Demar, I thought he was he was excellent, one of the best to play that position that I've been around for many years, uh, playing a lot of off man coverage, and, and uh, he just continued to get better. You know, Corey Sanders did a great job coaching him up and tutoring him through the year and uh, playing with a lot of confidence and, and making plays. I'm glad he didn't get a taunting on that, that pick six. He was looking back. I was a little worried about him, like, just score. Just get in the end zone. Uh, but I couldn't be more proud of uh, Eric Howitt. Last question. Hey, Coach, just want to ask a uh, follow-up um, on the, uh, the the fake slide. Um, Dave Clawson was asked about it, and he said, you know, it was a great play, an illegal play, but he said it's something that the NCAA, he thinks the NCAA should look at because – Defensive backs are, you know, taught to, to you know, to let up on the, if they see a quarterback start to slide. I was just wondering, what's your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, you know, if it was intentional and, uh, you know, if, if you really did that, you've never seen him do that. I think it was called instincts in a heck of a football play by Kenny Pickett. I mean, he started to slide. He, he, he drug his foot. And then I think he just, I mean, the guys were still, you know, 10 yards away from him. You know, the closest guy might have been four or five yards away and I just think he thought about it, and you know, there was a little hesitation. He was going to go down and be smart and be safe, but he was like, "Hold on a second. He drugged that right foot, I believe it was, and and then just took off. Uh, he's an athlete, and you know, you can't teach that. It's 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 called instincts. And uh, to me, it was a heck of a play. And you know, you can watch all the slides through the years. Guys, quarterbacks are getting whacked on those things. So to me, I coach our defensive guys to, you know, to finish the play. And if he goes down, a lot of times we slide over top of him and. Um, you know, it's just it's, it's being a football player. You got to finish the play. There's a thing called a whistle. And when the whistle blows, you stop. But until then, you got to you got to gather up. And if the quarterback slides too late, you know, we've seen guys slide late and, and you know get scraped up and, and, uh, and tattooed a little bit. And um, it's part of the game. Again, he never practiced it. Wasn't something we said. Hey, today we're going to fake slide. Um, it was a football play. And Kenny Pickett is the best, and that's why he's he's a champion. Okay, thanks, guys. Congratulations.